Tap2Talk Designer makes it easy to individualize your child's Tap2Talk with your own voice or sound files. Adding a new sound to your own user library is easy. Simply click on the New link in the left-hand pane of the Sound Library. There are two ways to add sounds to the Tap2Talk Designer Sound Library. You can use Tap2Talk Designer's built-in recorder, or you can import a sound or voice that is pre-recorded from another program. Tap to Talk Designer's built-in recorder is covered in detail in another tutorial. If you choose to import a sound file into the sound library, it can be an MP3 or WAV file up to 2 megabytes in size. It is recommended that you use short phrases. To import a file, click on the Browse button for Internet Explorer and Firefox users, or the Choose File button for Safari and Chrome users. Then choose the sound file on your computer that you wish to import. After you record or import the sound you want to use, give the sound a name. If you import the sound, the name field is filled in from the file name, but you can change it. The sound name is for your use. It is required and must be unique in your user library. Next, assign the sound a category name in your user library. This is where your sound gets saved. In Tap to Talk Designer, you create the category names that are meaningful to you. It is your personal filing system. Finally, click on the Save button. This will save the sound into your user library so it is available the next time you are adding sounds to pictures in the picture library. This ends the adding new sounds to the user library tutorial.